AWS, uh, which stands for Amazon Web Services. Yes, it is Amazon that created AWS. Back in the days, a couple of years ago, 10 years ago, virtualization was everything. If you did not know virtualization, you would be dinosaur. Uh, and same is true for the the cloud computing. They created AWS back in 2006. They were looking for ways to store data related to Amazon.com, their customer information systems. Azure is part of Microsoft's Microsoft Cloud solution. The other thing about AWS is it's has a really, really good partnership with government. For example, HIPAA regulations, uh, uh, PCI compliance, those type of things. So it already has those capabilities uh, built uh, into it. Microsoft is uh, going to be compliant with over 70 compliance offerings that are out there, including HIPAA and some of the ones that are uh, associated with with the governmental agencies. One of the alternatives that you can do is set up your own private cloud in the data center that you control, and then you can get the private cloud and the public cloud to work together, which creates what's called a hybrid cloud. Microsoft's Azure is a public cloud, and they now have a product called Azure Stack that is able to do the same exact thing as Azure, but from a private cloud perspective. And it's the only vendor out there that can do the entire hybrid cloud from within the same uh, vendor products. What makes uh, AWS unique also is their uh, very early adoption of the, the open source. Microsoft traditionally was not all that, let's just say, friendly to other organizations and vendors and other products, but about you know, six years ago or so now, they've decided to play along and be nice with other organizations. Compared to Microsoft, they, which is really not as open source friendly, even though they are trying to adopt uh, open source, but uh, they're not as close to where Amazon is. They actually support not only Windows applications, but applications that would be that would be running on something like a you know, maybe on Linux systems and more sort of open source ways to make applications available. And they're ever increasing their ability to support applications out on the cloud, regardless of what programming language you want to use, what operating system your application is running on, and, um, and ultimately uh, whose product you're actually using as far as you know, the underlying infrastructure. In my opinion, I am going to highly, highly recommend if you are in IT, you need to know AWS. So in my opinion, I would recommend um, Azure primarily because Microsoft is not just a cloud provider. They also provide the infrastructure for applications and for servers and everything. So you get this nice one-stop shop that you cannot get with other Vendors. There's other clouds out there, but they don't do all the different things that Microsoft does. If you have not gotten on board with cloud computing, I would highly, highly urge you to contact uh, the your account executive at New Horizon Learning Group so that you can start the journey today so that you can get a head start. And that's all it is, just to be ahead of the game.